The world officially has a brand new animal, a furry teddy bear kind of creature discovered in the jungles of South America. Seems scientists got one in a zoo and noticed she wasn't mating with similar fig-eating creatures. Turns out the bachelorette was different, and we mean different DNA. Nighttime explorations in the wild revealed other creatures like her, and tonight the world welcomes the Olinguito among us. Looks like a cross between a raccoon and a cat with kind of a teddy bear face, I suppose. One had actually been living in the National Zoo in Washington for a year, but nobody realized what it was. This little creature is being called adorable and cute by some. All we can say is decide for yourself. Olinguitos are native to high-altitude forests in Colombia and Ecuador, but it's not easy spotting one. They only come out at night, and they spend most of their time in the forest canopy. There it is. Now, you have not seen this animal before, before this story, and I can tell you, you have not ever seen an animal anything quite like this. Now, when I've shown it to people, some people tell me it looks a little bit like a cross between a teddy bear and a house cat. What it is, is a new species of mammal, and it's a spectacular new species. This is a, the smallest member of the raccoon family, completely overlooked by all zoologists until now. This is an animal we're calling the Olinguito. It lives in the Andes Mountains, in the countries of Colombia and Ecuador. Now, as I've mentioned, it's a carnivore by relation, but maybe somewhat unusually, it's taken to eating mostly fruit. That's what we know about its diet so far. It's a cloud forest specialist, so it lives only uh, up in these high elevation forests in the Andes. These kind of habitats are socked in by clouds all the time. We're gonna see a little bit about that. It's a canopy dweller. We don't think it hardly ever comes out of the trees. And it's about two and a half feet long and weighs about two pounds. That gives you an idea there. We got our hands on DNA samples from all the animals that are related to the Olinguito, and we used all this information to demonstrate that truly this animal had never been described by scientists, didn't have a name, and we could really, for the first time, introduce it to the scientific community. So having discovered this new species in the museum, I wanted to know, is it still out there? We went down to the cloud forest of Ecuador, and there it was. Carnivores in the raccoon family include raccoons, kinkajous, olingos, ringtails, coatis, like this white-nosed coati, and now the olinguito. Years ago, this very zoo, the National Zoo, had an olinguito on display. She died many years ago without anyone knowing what she really was, an undescribed species of mammal. I can't even explain how excited I am about this discovery. More than three decades have gone by. Many scientists might have believed that we were already there. We've already discovered every carnivore on these continents. But the Olinguito makes us think again, makes us think differently. Maybe there's even more out there to find. It's thought scientists have only discovered a fraction of Earth's life forms. New species of insects, parasitic worms, bacteria and viruses are discovered on a regular basis. New mammals are incredibly rare. And there may be more out there, like the Olinguito. <laughs> 